He's as smart as it gets. He's a straight up guy. He loves people. Guy works around the clock. He's a killer fundraiser. He hasn't missed a single lap of dinner. He bleeds violet. So Ricky was uh, born in Argentina. Global from the start. He, he really incarnates the whole notion of the global law school and the global network university. Then, thankfully, he came to the United States for his education. First at Princeton, then MIT. Then he was a star at Yale Law School. Went from there to clerk for Thurgood Marshall. Thank good he did, because there he met a woman that was clerking for Justice Blackman, uh, our student, our graduate, uh, Vicki Bean, who of course became the center of his life. along with Joshua and Sarah, who really make the sunrise and set uh, for him. The single most important thing to him is his family. Then he came to NYU. His whole academic career has been at NYU. Start spreading the news. And of course, uh, now he served uh, 11 years as dean of this law school, uh, making it better and better uh, with each passing year. New York, New York. Now he's going to serve our university in a different way. He's going to be the inaugural leader of the Marin Institute. There's never been a more important time to study cities. And it's going to make the world a better place. What is the quality I most admire about Ricky? He's as smart as it gets and he gets things done. The vigilance with which he tackled this job is incredible. He loves people. He likes to find out what makes them tick. He's fascinated by their troubles, by their successes. He tells you the truth. He's got a lot of integrity. He follows through on what he says. He gets things done. I, I really like that about him. It's fitting and appropriate that Blapa is celebrating his deanship because he is someone who has always been a very strong supporter of Blapa and who understands why Blapa is so important to this law school community. He is sincere. He is a strong advocate, but most of all, I think perhaps he has been present. He hasn't missed a single lap of dinner, not one.
he succeeded in his dream of collecting the greatest faculty in law anywhere in the world. He helped to guide this law school through some of the most challenging times in the world economy. He's had a remarkable commitment to public interest law. I've heard Ricky um, proselytize, really, about the Anne Bryce program and about the importance of bringing people into legal education from backgrounds that uh, you wouldn't have usually brought them to law school. Ricky nurtured that program, he brought it to scale, and he did it in a way that was very, very inclusive. Some interesting things that people don't know about Ricky. I'm not sure Ricky sleeps. The guy works round the clock. If you send him an email at 2 in the morning, expect an email back at 2.02 in the morning. If you send him an email at four o'clock in the morning. I'm not suggesting that people do this. But if you do, do not be surprised that you get a response back at 4.15. Ricky is nonstop. I think that is an incredibly impressive aspect of his service as dean, that he regards every single person as important. He regards every communication as important. I think everybody probably knows that he's really competitive. Ricky is uh, hyper-competitive with students. Ricky is tenacious. Incredibly tenacious. Ricky is one of the most, I'd say, tenacious, tireless people that I've ever encountered. And that's saying a lot coming from a place that produces an extreme amount of tenacious and tireless people. Three great things have come out of Argentina. The tango, my pope, and Ricky Rivet. Ricky has treated this law school with love that is inspiring to me. Ricky, you have been such an amazing partner and supporter, and I don't think it's too strong a word to use to say champion. Ricky, thank you for everything you've done for the school and for all of us. I'm thankful for Ricky as a friend. Ricky's been a friend and a mentor and a champion. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky, for being the world's best husband, for being the greatest father of my children that I could imagine. Thank you, Ricky, for taking the law school to such a safe place, for giving the law school your all, and for doing everything you could to make the lives of the faculty, the students, the administrators, and the alums um, as good for them as you could possibly make it. Thank you. <laughs>